Good morning everyone, welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to another food review. Today I have looked at my most kawaii clothes because we are heading over to Japan to try some of their really weird Kit Kat flavours. My lovely boyfriend Sean gifted me a whole bag of these kind of unusual Kit Kat flavours from Japan. Um, among them there was kind of regular ones like dark chocolate flavour which I won't be reviewing today because I've had dark chocolate Kit Kats before and they're good. So I picked out six of the weirdest flavours and we're going to be trying them today. <sighs> Kit Kats are originally a British creation um, but for some reason Japan seemed to just go mad with these. Um, they make a much cuter size. So for example the normal Kit Kat in the UK is about twice the size of this so this is a pretty adorable snack size. Um, as you can see, all of the flavors are written on the packaging in Japanese. So I have had to kind of look into more detail as to what these are. Um, I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> because I know that we have a wasabi flavor in here somewhere and me and wasabi don't have great history together. So I think I'm going to start with the most innocent flavors. So I'll be trying this raspberry Kit Kat and this Shinshu apple flavored Kit Kat first. After that, I'm gonna move on to some kind of hot drink inspired flavors. So there is a roasted tea flavored Kit Kat and also a matcha green tea flavored Kit Kat. I'm not a huge green tea lover, so. And finally, we will get onto the weird and wonderful flavors. Put wonderful in kind of inverted commas because I have no idea if you're gonna hold me to that or not. Um, the final two flavors we will be tasting are a Dookie Bean sandwich flavored Kit Kats. Literally no idea and a wasabi flavor. So let's stop stalling and just get into it. I've always wanted to go to Japan and I really hope that this taste test doesn't change that. So first we're going to try this lovely, cute looking raspberry flavored Kit Kat. So just lovely, plain kind of baby pink packaging. I expect this to be pink, obviously. Um, it is. This is the interior of the Raspberry Kit Kat. It's a gorgeous baby pink color and like I said before, such a cute size. So it smells fruity. I don't think I could pinpoint it to raspberry but it smells like a kind of creamy fruity smell. So let's just try it. A Japanese Raspberry Kit Kat. Wow. So on the inside of this, it's just the usual kind of layers of Kit Kat wafer with this gorgeous baby pink chocolate on the outside. The chocolate doesn't have the best texture, to be honest. The wafer is lovely and crisp as usual. The chocolate, because it's this kind of quasi chocolate that they write on the label, is a little bit grainy, a bit similar to kind of American Hershey's chocolate. You know, it's not as creamy and smooth as what I'm used to in the UK. Very sweet. So you probably wouldn't need more than the two fingers that are in here but there's a definite raspberry flavor, that kind of partly natural, partly artificial powdered raspberry flavor that you might get in a milkshake or kind of kid's sweets. It's very nice. So it wouldn't be the first thing I'd pick up off a shelf, but it's tasty and it definitely delivers on the raspberry flavor. So I'm gonna give this raspberry Kit Kat a four out of five. Moving on to another kind of palatable sounding flavor, we have this Shinshu apple flavored Kit Kat. Now, I don't know if there's a difference between a Shinshu apple and a regular apple. Like it just says Shinshu apple, Shinshu edition. I don't know if Shinshu's an area. I'm entirely uneducated in the ways of Shinshu. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. Ooh, the smell has already hit me. Okay, so you take this out of the packaging. Looks like a regular adorable Kit Kat. Smells like someone poured a bottle of artificial apple flavoring up your nostrils. Well, let's see how it tastes. Apples and chocolate were never meant to be together. As you can see on the inside, it's just a kind of white wafer filling, whatever that apple flavor is coming from. I believe that's coming from the inside. And on the outside, it's just a regular kind of darker milk chocolate. That is really not pleasant. I can't fault them for the apple flavor because it is strong. You couldn't, you couldn't say that was anything but apple. But the mix with the chocolate and the kind of crunchy wafer, 
I mean, not a fan. I'm not even going in for a second by that. That is just not, <laughs> straight up not good. If you, for some reason, are like mad for apple flavored things, you might love this, but I'm certainly not gonna recommend it. I'm gonna give this Shinshu apple flavored Kit Kat a two out of five. Don't do it. Moving on to another one of these interesting flavors. I'm gonna try this matcha green tea flavored Kit Kat. Now this is slightly less unusual nowadays. You know, lots of people have been making recipes with matcha green tea. It's about twice as popular now as it was even 18 months ago. Well, it smells of green tea. So as you can see, it's this gorgeous kind of bright green color. It's an inviting green. You know, there's not many green foods that make you think, oh, I want to eat that, but this is one of them. So let's just see how green tea tastes in a chocolate bar. A matcha green tea Kit Kat. It's not terrible. The tea flavor is really strong, but weirdly, with the kind of creaminess of the chocolate, it does make it quite pleasant. It's that definite sort of leafy grass flavor that you get with green tea. And it also has a much better texture than the first one, which is kind of nice. So I am going to give this matcha green tea Kit Kat a three out of five. Okay, people, it's time to get weird. We're moving on to this roasted tea flavor. So I like tea. I'm British, I have to like tea. Um, I don't necessarily want tea in things. You know what I mean? So, well, that's an interesting color. Well, it definitely smells like tea. So the color of this one is kind of a greenish brown color. It's not super appetizing, like especially compared to a normal chocolate color. Um, it definitely smells of tea. It smells like a fresh cup of just regular English breakfast tea or whatever the Japanese equivalent is. Enough stalling, let's just see how it tastes. No, so much no. It tastes like a really, really, really strong cup of tea. Like the kind of cup that you started making, went away for 10 minutes, came back and still drank it. It's not great. It's a definite strong tea flavor. Um, and again, the texture in the chocolate's pretty good. It is nice and creamy, but it tastes like a cup of tea. I don't know why you would want your food to taste like tea when you could just have a cup of tea and a normal Kit Kat. Um, again, impressed that the, they managed to get the flavor in here, but I'm definitely not a fan. So I'm afraid that this roasted tea flavor Kit Kat, as accurate as it is, is getting another two out of five. I'm sorry. Moving on to two of the weirdest flavors we have. We're gonna try this Aduki Bean Sandwich flavor Kit Kat. I've heard of Japanese red bean inspired desserts, um, but this is definitely a new one for me. It smells a bit beany. Kind of like when you open a can of beans just a gentle kind of marginally savory flavor. It's an appealing color, at least, you know, it just looks like chocolate. Um, let's see how it tastes on a Dookie Bean Kit Kat. I'm not even entirely sure what I just ate. So this looks exactly like a regular Kit Kat with a kind of wafer and the chocolate cream in the middle. It tastes like, I've left a Kit Kat on the counter, spilled some liquid from a tin of beans on it, and then sprayed some perfume on it. It's got a weird kind of perfumey taste that feels like it shouldn't be in my mouth. So I'm gonna give the Aduki Bean Sandwich Flavor Kit Kat, why is that even a thing? A two out of five. <laughs> this has been brutal. Thankfully the raspberry one was nice and the dark chocolate one I got is also nice. But we're now about to move on to the most grim of them all. We are moving on, of course, to the wasabi Kit Kat. Why do I do this to myself? Why do you guys watch me do this to myself? So I've had wasabi. I've had it in 
you know, I've had wasabi flavor things and I've had it in Japanese restaurants and stuff before. Oh God, even the color's not appealing. <sighs> so this neon snot green <laughs> Kit Kat is what we're about to taste. Okay, it doesn't smell too offensive. I know that a lot of wasabi things also do have horseradish added to them to make them taste extra kind of spicy. So this might not be as bad as I think she hoped. Wish me luck. A wasabi Kit Kat. <sighs> this didn't need to happen. Why would you do this? Japan, why would you do this? First you get this kind of nice sweet creamy chocolate and that lovely crunchy wafer that you can see in there in amongst that disgustingly colored chocolate. And it tastes of wasabi. I mean, again, it's impressive that you've got that in there, but it tastes like a mouthful of really non-spicy, under salted, like horseradishy mustard wasabi flavor. And it's not good. Stop, just stop. <laughs> Continue making nice flavors like the raspberry that made me happy. This wasabi Kit Kat, again, fantastic that you managed to incorporate that flavor into a chocolate bar, but it tastes horrific. <laughs> I am sorry, Japan. I love your country and your culture from what I've seen of it. And I apologize on behalf of the entire Western society for Logan Paul again, but these crazy Kit Kats need to stop. <laughs> This wasabi Kit Kat is getting a one out of five. A couple of these were good, you know, some were fine and some were just downright no. If there are some amazing Japanese Kit Kat flavors that I missed out on, do let me know and I will try to track them down because I'm still keen to try more weird flavors, <laughs> believe it or not. If you guys enjoyed this video, do give that a like. I love reviewing kind of strange foreign foods like this and you know, the kind of strange local foods too. If you haven't already, do also check out the link in the description box below to my blog, Maverick Baking, where you can find even more reviews, recipes, and just a lot of words on all things edible. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.